Well, if you went to college, you probably had at least one encounter with a self-important nutcake posing as a professor. You recognize it, bad hair, crazy eyes, and affinity for various third world autocrats. Charlie Kirk is the executive director of Turning Point USA, and for the past four months, his group has been placing a select group of academics on what they call a professor watch list, saying that they discriminate against conservative students and use their lectures to push their propaganda. The watch list just added a few new names. Charlie Kirk joins us now to explain why they're there. Charlie, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So first, the idea of a watch list has driven a lot of people in academia like completely crazy, and you're, you're Joe McCarthy to them. What, what kind of response have you gotten? Yeah, so some of these academics, they think this is the new rise of McCarthyism, and I always joke back to them, well, at least we show you our list. I mean, look, this is an exercise of free speech that all these, these professors are so scared of what they have said be made public, then maybe they should reconsider what they are saying. And look, higher education is a choice that consumers make, and the consumers exactly. are the students, our parents and alumni. People have a right to know what is being said in these lecture halls. And somehow these professors are so appalled that their academic comments are made public. So we just kind of laugh and we scoff and we say, if you're so fearful that your highly intellectual thoughts are now made public on a consolidated list, that's your problem, not ours. Well, that's right. And every part of American life has become more accountable and more transparent. And you can look up your physician Precisely. and your dentist and your vet, but not your professor or your kid's professor. So tell me about some of the people who've just made your list. Yeah, so one of my favorites uh, is a professor at Saddleback College who famously this last September was so appalled and so offended by seeing 9-11 memorial posters, uh, Margot Lovett. Uh, she decided to tear them down because she just did not believe that these posters should be placed throughout campus. And some more research showed that she actually, in 2001, agreed that the U.S. is partly to blame for 9-11. So think about that. You're a student or you're an alumni, you're a donor giving money to Saddleback College. Is that really what you want your donation to go towards? No. Professors that feel so offended by 9-11 memorial posters being, you know, placed on your campus. Another professor that we have was a professor at Cal State Fullerton who physically assaulted a Trump uh, supporting student uh, because he disagreed with them. And look, and this is something that you cover a lot, the left hates the idea that there are other ideas. And the left has been controlling academia That's for far right. too long. And we are a student movement uh, putting them, being a watchdog and putting them on notice. There's also a high degree of emotional incontinence among professors. Some of these people can't control themselves, and when confronted with things they don't agree with, incredible. they don't make a counter-argument, they lose control of themselves. It's really interesting. It's almost childlike, um, I would say. So uh, there's a Harvard professor called Danielle Allen. Tell us about her. Yeah, so Danielle Allen, she wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post. She was pretty unapologetic about this stance, where she made a very, I would say, flawed argument. She teaches us in class that the rise of Donald Trump can be directly paralleled to the rise of Adolf Hitler. I mean, this is a Harvard professor. She teaches that we can learn a lot from the rise of Donald Trump and this populist rise because actually it is very similar to that of Adolf Hitler. And, and it was, it's incredible when you start to make these assertions and these notions. And, you know, at Turning Point USA, we kind of joke around. We say, the left says, if you disagree with me, you must be a Nazi. That's the new, right. that's the new adage of the new American left. And for people that are interested, actually, see these professors, they can go to professorwatchlist.org and see it for themselves. And, they, you know, you can look at these examples, very well cited, very well documented, third-party verified examples of what well, these professors not, have I been mean, doing. Well, they're not. I mean, they're mostly banal. I mean, what, what you reveal in addition to their extremism is the ordinariness of their thinking. I mean, I think of college professors as smart and they're challenging with their ideas. Michael Green of UNLV, here's how he described Trump on Facebook, a syphilitic Nazi in the white man's house. I mean, I guess it's kind of amusing, it's, it's but it's basically nuanced, right? stupid. And a lot of these people are basically kind of stupid. Aren't, have you noticed that? I mean, I, mean, I, I agree. I mean, it, it's lack of substance, right? I mean, these yeah. are people that are supposedly, they have doctorates and they're so smart. And they just dumpster dive into just pejoratives that have no substance and no base and we just kind of laugh we say wait a second you're writing scholarly journals and you're being endowed oh, no. for research i mean give me a break i mean and so this actually brings up a broader point that what is higher education really become it's this group think atmosphere where everybody thinks the same and everyone is so liberal and so to the left 
that it's just a competition to find, you know, who can be the most radical. And like you said, I mean, some of this is just so baseless, but it's important. It's important to point this out because no, people is. deserve to know. And at some point, parents, a lot of parents, teachers, alumni region. Uh, people are going to start to decide, you know, a humanities degree may not improve my child. It actually may hurt my child. And at that point, you'll see we'll Further corrupt change. them towards this That's radical exactly thinking. Right. Exactly right. Yeah. Charlie Kirk, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me.